thank you for inviting me to speak about selling your confidence. Do you remember the TV show Mission Impossible? When the opening line was, good morning, Mr. Phelps, your mission, if you choose to accept it, is to stop Mr. X from blowing up the world. This tape will self-destruct in five seconds. Have you ever felt like you had a mission? Maybe not to save the world from destruction, but maybe to make something better after you found it. Well, I decided I was gonna be on a mission, and I'm gonna tell you why. In my book, I wrote about selling your confidence, and it's about how I gain more confidence in myself to excel in my sales career. And I thought, more women need to understand what it means to be confident so they can sell and be more successful. So because of that, and I published my book, of course people want to hear me speak about it. So I go to this event with all these entrepreneurial women who are my ideal clients, and they're sitting there very professionally dressed, self-assured, and successful in their businesses, so I think. And I ask them the question, how do you feel about selling? Well, the crowd was just quiet. And then there was a little bit of murmuring. And then this woman in the front row raised her hand and said, well, if I have to sell, how do I feel more confident about it and not sound salesy? Oh my gosh, the word salesy. That is uh, just something that's come up so many times when I speak to women or even the ones that I'm coaching. And it's the word that conjures up that image that we have about aggressive, manipulative types of salespeople who nobody wants to be. And by the way, salesy isn't even in the dictionary. It's that term that we apply to those people. So I'm thinking about how important this word salesy is and how we're gonna overcome this. And one day, it just hit me. That's it. I am going to make this my mission. I am going to change the attitude about sales, especially for women who feel like they're being salesy. They need to be more authentic when they're thinking about everything that the other person is saying to them. They have to be empathetic. They have to want to listen to the problems and the needs of that person and also apply solutions so that they can authentically help that person solve their problem. So I decided to make that my mantra. And when I put it in addition in my book about being salesy and I added a worksheet, I decided this is how I'm going to promote myself even further, especially with my book and my coaching business. And then I decided I am actually going to make a big difference in how I look at the word salesy. I am going to change salesy from a negative feeling to a positive affirmation. Selling authentically like everyone sees you. And if I can help you feel better about that, book a call with me at sellingyourconfidence.com.